Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Samima Islam with the top news of the day. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina urged the students to leave the highway and return to classes. The Prime Minister said that the incidents of student deaths in road accidents are mysterious. She made the remarks virtually participating in the inauguration of the mural of Bangabundhu and the foundation stone laying program of Joy Bhavan. She also instructed to identify those responsible behind this case. Sheikh Hasina stated that it is being investigated to find who was setting fire to the buses. The protesting students announced a one-hour human chain program on Thursday across the country, demanding nine points, including proper compensation for the deaths of two students on the road. Due to the high school examination, the program will be held from 12 noon to 1 p.m. Students also staged a day-long protest in different parts of Dhaka on Wednesday, demanding the recovery of several vehicles. Meanwhile, police filed two cases against 700 unidentified persons in connection with the burning of Rampura bus. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokul Islam Alamgir said that it is not the law but the government itself obstructing the release and treatment of BNP Chairperson Begum Khaledazia. He made the remarks at a rally organized by the Nationalist Women's Party in front of BNP's central office in Noyapalton on Wednesday. The Women's Party organized the rally demanding the release of BNP Chairperson Begum Khaledazia and her treatment abroad. Mirza Fokul said that they have have been demanding for the treatment of Khalidazia for several days now and she is being denied the opportunity of treatment. Fokul added, the law clearly states that the government can treat the party leader abroad if it wishes. He stated that the obstacles are the current government. He further said that the government prevented their silent procession out of fear. The new variant of the coronavirus named Omicron was in Europe before South Africa's warning about the identification of this new variant. The origin of Omicron was shrouded in obscurity since the Dutch authorities announced on Tuesday. Chinese experts say small molecule drugs are still effective against this variant. Britain, meanwhile, has called for all adults to be given a corona booster dose by next January. Furthermore, in the last 24 hours, two people died of COVID-19 in the country. So far, 27,983 people died in corona in the country. 282 people were identified with COVID-19. This information was given in the press release given by the health department on Wednesday afternoon. Rab has arrested Abbas Ali, the mayor of Gotokhali municipality in Rajshahi, for making controversial remarks about the mural of father of the nation, Bangabundu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. He was arrested in a raid on Isa Khan Hotel in Kakrail on Wednesday morning. Abbas was planning to flee abroad, according to the Rab's media director. On the first day of the four-day long grand event on the occasion of the centenary of Dhaka University, the entire campus was abuzz with the walks of former and current students. Joining the op opening ceremony, the President Abdul Hamid emphasized on improving the quality of education and capacity of students in the university. He said that not only the development of infrastructure, expansion of departments and institutes in the university are key indicators, but also the quality of education and research are also the the key indicators of the development of the university. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.